At Home with Morgan Hawk is sponsored by Viridian Credit Union. Welcome to Jimmy Buffett Night here at the Colonels as the Colonels take on the Kane County Cougars, the Midwest League affiliate of the Chicago Cubs. A big crowd expected. We're glad you're all here as the Colonels look to take a leg up on the Cougars here tonight in the series. The Colonels and Kane County have split the first two. Game three tonight, game four tomorrow afternoon. Joe Maurer back in the lineup today. He's expected to play and get some at-bats tomorrow. Ricky Nolasco scheduled to make the start for the Colonels tomorrow as well on the mound. We'll take a timeout and come back and look at the promotions that you can expect tomorrow. Viridian Credit Union knows what I'm about. I have strong values and beliefs and I support important causes. Is that true where you bank? I trust Viridian to do what's right for myself and my community. They make me feel welcome and I like that they save me money. They make things simple for me. They have an app and I can pay my bills with my phone. That's why I love Viridian Credit Union. Viridian gets me. That's why I switched. Now let's get a look at the TwinsDaily.com Twins organizational recap from yesterday. The Twins are out on the West Coast taking on the Oakland A's. And last night, Oakland pulled out the 6-5 win over the Twins. Twins scored all five runs in the seventh inning. Rochester pounded Indianapolis 11-4. Doug Bernier, three hits, including a home run. Aaron Hicks, also a home run. New Britain lost 6-0 at Erie. Former Colonel Jorge Polanco had two hits. We'll see former Colonel Taylor Rogers on the mound tonight at Erie. Fort Myers won 4-0 at St. Lucie behind a terrific start from Brett Lee. The former Colonel went all nine innings for the complete game shutout victory and the miracle play at Palm Beach tonight. Elizabeth then won 7-0 over Danville. Sam Gibbons gets the start tonight as they take on Danville again. Now we'll look at what you can expect tomorrow here at the ballpark, brought to you by Thrivent as we look at the week ahead. We start with our look at tomorrow, and it's Run the Bases Sunday. Play catch in the outfield, brought to you by 104.5 KDAT and Planet X. And also, you can play Travel Advisors Baseball Vacation Bingo, coming up on Sunday afternoon. Also, Papa Balloon will be here, face painting by Kennedy as well. That's all tomorrow as we wrap up the homestand. We're back home, and then Daddy-Daughter Date Night is on August the 15th. A cupcake party provided by the Right Touch Bake Shop. And during the second and third innings, you can enjoy glass slipper entertainment. Plus a walk down the red carpet with a post-game fireworks and a carnation as part of Daddy-Daughter Date Night. Also, it's Hawkeye Sports Night coming up on the 15th. The first 1,000 fans receive a mini Hawkeye football. And also, you can take advantage of a silent jersey auction. Those will be on sale throughout the game, and they are presented by the Lynn County iClub. Just a couple of the things coming up uh, next week when the Colonels get back home. We'll be off on Monday and then a quick three-game series at Beloit. But we're back here tomorrow. We hope you're back here with us. Ricky Nolasco is scheduled to make the start, and Joe Maurer is expected to get some at-bats tomorrow afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow here at the ballpark. The Colonels and Cougars coming up shortly right here. At Viridian Credit Union, we have an original belief that you should keep the money you earn. That's why we're currently offering a 10-year fixed rate home equity special at 2.99% APR. This affordable loan rate means you can make your home improvements and save money. Keep the money you earn with help from Viridian's home equity special. We're Viridian Credit Union an Iowa original and your trusted financial partner since 1934. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, he almost lost his balance. Big round of applause for the Boer family. Thank you so much. Mutant Ninja Turtles night here at the ballpark. The first four men of the game reached against Steven Gonsalves. Here's Max Murphy lining one down into the left field corner. It rolls up to the 315 mark. Murphy speeds into second base, and he has a leadoff double. Martinez set and the pitch. Maurer lines it into left center. It's a base hit. Stopping at second, Vioma. It's cut off by Dunstan Jr. Ground ball towards the mound. It's gloved by Gonsalves. Second one. Throw to first by Wade in time. 
One, four, three on the double play. Tobias swung on and missed. Went to the high fastball. And Mazza fires. Swung on and missed. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Crushed into center field. This will get over the shortstop lock card for Joe Maurer's second base hit of the night. He's aboard with two away here in the seventh. Let there be light. Here's a ground ball, second base, might be two. Flips from Wade to Viam over to Maurer. Four, six, three in the double play. Joe on the year with the Twins. Lines went over to first base. It'll get by for a base hit. One run is going to score. Viam moves on to third. And Joe Maurer with his third hit of the night. Keeps the Colonels alive here in the ninth. It's a 6-3 to three ball game. The ride. Here's the 3-1. Pops it over to right field. This is going to get down. Viyama scores. Mauer around second. He's going to head to third. Watkins is going to send him around. Wheels him to the plate. Mauer's going to stand up and score. And Mitch Garver makes it a one-score game with one swing of the bat. A double down the right field line. Now a 6-5 to five ball game with Brian Hard coming to the dish.